welcome to my channel so today i'm going to show you how you can repair lg microwave when it has no power problem as you can see here on the display display is not displaying don't forget to subscribe on your screen you can see there is a subscribe button click on it and subscribe don't forget to share and to leave us a thumbs up also if you have uh, opinion or idea leave it in a comment section around the 2 uh, 16 volt also before you start working on any microwave when it has a no power problem first of all check this power cord as you can see here the inside there is a fuse Check power cord line or fuse, any fuse, you put this multimeter in a continuous mode. Yeah? If, uh, I think you can hear the beeping sound. This line of fuse is okay. To remove this cover, you have to lift a little a bit like this and you like this I hope you can see this is inside of microwave this is a magnetron this is line filter board this is main board here this is transformer this is hive high voltage fuse this is high voltage a capacitor this is cooling fan you can see there is an impeller here and this is high voltage uh, diode so before you you start working on any microwave make sure to discharge this high voltage part using your screwdriver I can show you clearly. This chassis is ground. You short the ground and you create a short circuit between the anode and ground. Diode anode and ground. Now it is discharged. The other thing that I'm going to check is this line fuse. Because my microwave has three type of switches located here. One is main, sorry, primary switch, secondary switch, and monitor switch. The monitor switch is in parallel with this transformer. If the mon if monitor switch is defective, it will short circuit this transformer. And if they should circuit this transformer, the line, line fuse will blow, will blow. So now I'm going to check the continuity of this line fuse. Line fuse is okay. Also you can check the connectors and the cable, this cable continuity. If you find there is no continuity, you replace
this is thermostat that I'm going to check. I'm going to check the continuity of this cavity thermostat. Cavity thermostat is okay, line fuse is okay, power code is okay. So not what now what you are going to check, you are going to check this PCB assembly main. G101 is ground. G102 is 5 volt. And G103 it is a 12 volt. But as you can see it is zero. So if you found the, uh, the voltage are present and then it is not displaying, so you have to change the PCB assembly because the, in that case, the main controller IC or microcontroller is defective. So to change the microcontroller, it's very, very complicated. Also, you cannot get the software once it is, once it is replaced. So the easiest way to repair is to change that switching IC. Uh, this IC here is bound switching IC so you can replace all this part or you can replace this switching IC is the IC which supplies uh, auxiliary voltage to supplies this micom and this relay it supplies this micom with and uh, other com control IC, ICs with 5 volt and also supply this relay with 12 we can, you can, I can replace this IC and see if it can work this, this IC is RNK 3648N it is a password modulation switching IC so to repair this board, this magnetron, sorry, this microwave board, so I'm going to use this Garand's microwave control board. You see, how it is designed is, is that the power supply is separate. It has a separate board with the main. You can detach it from it. You see this board you, you see here? It is power supply. This board it, it is working, but it only has a problem with the software. So now I'm going to use this power supply board. I'm going to detach it from here.
So now we are going to check. By using this cable. Okay. Now you can see here this is a zero. Thank you. 